Today, I'm going to show you how to do a roll pin on a serger. It's super easy on this one. Um, it's pretty cool. And We've got a few. Show you how to thread it too. I'll show you how to thread this one too. First, this is the uh, MO1000 from Juki. It is an air threaded serger. I've got, it comes with a little tray that you can catch your waist with, but I've got it off because I want to show you. I know that you're going to scream, so you would never ever do this and then just sew it out completely dry. This machine is so easy to thread and the nice thing about it is too, if you run your machine out of thread, you don't have to re-thread the entire machine. Some sergers you do. So I'm gonna thread the needles first. This easy, watch how fast this is. And it has a needle threader for both needles. And you do kind of have to line up your needle and you'll know when it is because it just pops right in there. Right there, pull that through. I'm gonna get my tweezers out. Isn't this nice? You've got this little caddy for all of your tools that you need while you're sewing. So there's one needle. Are you timing me, Robert? Uh, 10, 9, 8, <laughs> 7. I also like that this has separate thread paths for each of the um, threads. Okay. Just push this forward and then I'm threading the second needle. Hi, Miranda. Please are there. There's two. Ten, nine. And then I'm going to thread the loopers. And so all I did is you just turn this. So, so if you see this mechanism, these are your upper and lower loopers. So you just turn that up and then line up those and they snap into place. Thread number three, straight down. Oh, Roseanne recently got this one. She loves it. It's nice. nice. So you want to pull out enough thread. So I have a pretty good length of thread here. You want to pull out enough so that when you do this, it just shoots all the way through. Look at that. So that's three. Ten, nine, eight. <laughs> and just feed it into the air threaded tube. Yep. I'm using the tweezers because yep, nice the thread kind of sticks to my fingers a little bit. Oops, it popped right back out. And there it is, right there. Shot through. Shot through. You're gonna turn that back down and close your cover. I guess I could put the tweezers away so I don't lose them. You're gonna, gonna do need... that or you'll be looking for them. I am gonna need that in a minute, so I'm gonna take it out now. I am going to lower my knife. What's the purpose of lowering your knife? So that, um, so. You get underneath there? Yeah, so let me have it pop back up. There it is. So the knife, because I want to put all the threads to the back and I would get caught on the knife. So I'm just going to lower the knife and then just cut them too. And I'm going to pull everything to the back. And I cut that really short with that knife. See, that's why you lower the knife, because I just cut that but it should be fine. There we go. So everything is to the back. I'm gonna close this, put the knife back up, and test to make sure that we're sewing because it really doesn't matter how fast you thread it if you don't sew when you start. Let's 
Look at that. Nice. And you're ready so to go. We're ready to go. What I wanted to show you was in the manual, and they really did a nice job with this. I have to find the right page. So this is how you do all of your stitches. So all 15 of these stitches, it'll tell you how to do all of them. So I wanted to show you how to do a three thread rolled hem. So it's stitch number eight. And so you have to take out your left needle. And so there's no thread here. So we're going to take that out. Um, right needle is set to four. Upper looper is 3.5, so I'm gonna move that. Lower looper is six, and if you can't tell, so see how it has these symbols? They match the symbols up here on the top of your machine. Nice. Okay, and then your cutting width is set to 1.0, and that's right here, which is what it's set for right now. And then your uh, stitch length is 1.0, so that's this one. So all the way down to one. And then the differential feed is set to N, which is where it's set now. And then rolled hem selector lever, which is this right here, is set to down. There, I think that's right. We'll test it and see. Um, upper knife is up, and the thread, there's one more attachment right here. So this, if you were doing some specialty stitches, this just moves forward or not. And so in this, it's not engaged. So let's see if I did it right. So napkins. So you can make napkins, which would make really great gifts. Nope, I think I have uh, I didn't take my other needle out. So I did. I did what Marilyn did. I was talking instead of <laughs> paying attention here. So I need to take out my left needle. You even got the screwdriver out. I even got the screwdriver out. Of course, we all let you do out. it too, so I yes. feel kind of bad about that. I'm just going to trim that. Trim that there. Pull that out. Just straight through. And then I'm gonna all right. so quick. I'm just gonna do a quick thing to get all of that thread out. Nope, I did something wrong. <laughs> something is not quite right. Six. One and or maybe it's I did it backwards. Three thread rolled him stitch length is set to one. So one and then that is set to N. That's what I did wrong. I had it set to one. So let's see. Put that real quick. What are some of the things you can make with surgery? You're talking about napkins, so. Um, anytime you want to do ruffling, so easy on your surgery. Oh, that needs to be back. That's part of my problem. Is. So look how nice that is. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. So 
you had some if you had some fabric like that really pretty um, kind of paisley in that kit those would make great napkins you could make napkins for all of your holiday dinners that you're gonna have this coming up season um, super easy and you could whip through those like that I bet a lot of people are gonna want to get together this year I think so. so so that's how easy it is um, ruffling anytime you want to do that um, people use sergers to make clothing quite a bit I use a serger to trim the edges off my quilt before I bind it it's a game changer for binding truly um, and you can actually piece a quilt on this if you ever get invited to do a jelly roll quilt race take your serger you'll win yeah definitely. <laughs> <laughs> every time because serger is so so much faster this machine is 11.99 yep so um and you can do all kinds of stuff with it there's tons of things that you can do no quilter is complete without it and of course if you make clothing you know already how much you need a serger and they are great we also have a cover stitch um chain stitch combo machine too so cover stitch is that um, this is a cover stitch it does that row of stitches like this together and then the other side is finished gotcha. so okay. and chain stitch if you're doing any clothing you just chain stitch it fit it if it fits then you serge it if it doesn't you can pull those chain stitches right out with one thread and keep going <laughs> 